Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out this all new, brand new, hot off the press 65 amp Fet Tech 4 in 1 8S ESE. <laughs> All right, Pod, so here's the deal. I've got, I mean, I'm not even going to get into it. I could reach up right here and find one. Look at that, 35 amp, dead. 35 amp, dead. I, I, in, oh, here's another one, 35 amps, dead. I've got 35 amp and 45 amp FedTech ESCs that are blown out to wazoo. And don't get me wrong, it's not just FedTech, it's all ESCs. And it gets old after a while because you take a hit, you take a crash, and there goes your quadcopter. And it's like, you know what, stick it on the wall, I'll deal with it later. So it is nice and it is exciting to know that FedTech has stepped it up. We've got 65 amps of juice. I can't wait to see this puppy. I can't, I, I've even got my Moxie that I love and fly and have had for some time. By the way, if you have not seen that build video, it is sick. And I will link a video for you down in the video description so you can check out that build. But this quadcopter right here is running the G4 with the 45 amp FedTech ESC. And although it took a beating, it finally did blow. So I thought in today's video, we'll check out this 65 amp, but not only will we give it a quick overlook, go over the features, let's go ahead and slap this puppy in a quadcopter and send it to the sky. Let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There's your quality check pass sticker. We'll just throw that right there. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. 470 microfarad capacitor and then we've got our jumper cable which gets us up to our flight controller. So I'm going to throw this aside and let's dive into this puppy just a little bit closer. Look at this! Gosh, these are big beautiful MOSFETs. Those are 40 volt MOSFETs. Look at all this capacitance and filtration. We've got our shunt resistors right there. Man, look at the way that's laid out. Look at these motors. So you got two and then one off on the corner. All right, so we can put a capacitor right here. Boop, boop. And then we've got ground and positive. If I flip it over, oh my, wow. So we've got some more FETs on the back. We've got our drivers. We've got our MCUs. We've got everything. More filtration. Wow, this is beautiful. They went with the FETTECH tradition screw hole where it's M2 unless you take something and just which we've all done. You just stick a screwdriver or tweezer or whatever in there and and now you're running M3. So that's super nice, super beautiful, and man, that thing is gorgeous. So if we flip this puppy over, you can see right here on our MCUs, we're running STM32G zeros at 64 megahertz, that's nice. We're running 128 kilohertz motor PWM signal, and that is full sine wave. Um, if you're not familiar with that, and a full sine wave just whoo, 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 whoo. So you're talking faster, smoother, and all around around better quality signal baby and that is going to feed and feel and run nicely on these motors i love it and i am excited about it now here is what else we've got it's got automatic input detection is that new <laughs> do they all do it no you've got kiss flight controller pass through which we already know this runs kiss you've also got beta flight 4.1 pass through what does that mean that means that you can connect this esc to your beta flight controller and access it and change settings and things like that as long as your flight controller is 4.1 or newer the only thing on beta flight that i strongly recommend to get yourself some telemetry is jump over to that tlm pad that's your telemetry pad wire that to a tx on your flight controller jump into your port tab head over to ESC sensors drop down and name that UART so if it's UART 2 1 2 boom turn that on that way you're running and getting the telemetry that you need so really quick before we take this FETTECH 65 amp and drop it into our MOXIE I want to take a second or two and just jump into our scopey scope holy cow look at that man that is beautiful 
All right, so there's our MOSFETs. We've got some filtration over here. They've thrown one off on the edge over here like we talked about. See how they, they did that? And then we've got like a little diamond pad. So your motor is going to be split up one, two, and three. There's what we talked about. You can break this off. It just falls off very easy if you want to go ahead and change to an M3 screw. Don't, they say you shouldn't file, I, I sometimes do, but they say you shouldn't file because that's how you can cause some damages, but go ahead and take a look. So there you go. So now it's M3. It's really, really that simple. So let's wrap this up. So we've got our connector. This is your one and only plug jumper. That's going to get you from your ESC to your flight controller. If you're running a FET tech board, it's plug and play. Plug in your ESC, plug in your flight controller, you're done. I recommend one wire and you can do that if you have plugged in with their plug. Okay, now if I flip it over, you're going to see on this side is where we have and they have laid out for us manual solder pads. So that means if something wants to go wrong with that connector, we can actually solder up our ground, telemetry wire, motor one, two, three, and four. So that is super, super awesome. Look at all of this man that filtration is nice and on you know and on a 65 amp this is needed this is and even though that's on there you still are required to connect this capacitor do not not connect that capacitor and do not try to substitute it for a 35 volt or something like that i would recommend to stay up high stay 50 volts get yourself some capacitance on here that makes a big difference if you've ever seen how i run my other boards now uh granted it may be <laughs> set my opinion based but you see how I do it I put one on every corner so there you go look there's your LEDs that let you know one two three and four those are the ones that just let you know that it's communicating you'll see them flash blue I think is uh, their usual color for that so that's gonna do it for the scope for our 65 amp FETTEC ESC alright so jumping out of the scope because that's pretty much all we wanted to see was just take a little quick peeky deek around so let's go ahead and open this puppy up <laughs> there you go we've got our 45 amp esc out it's time to drop in our 65 but i just want to take a second because look at this this right here is the 45 amp esc mosfet this here is the 65 amp esc mosfet look at the size difference huh that is insane I'm pretty sure our blown ESC days are behind us with this Mac Daddy of a monster. Let's go ahead and drop this puppy in. And one, two, three. Bam! Look at that. All right, pilot. So I didn't want to waste your time with the boring details because you know what happens when an ESC goes in. So we got the 65 amp ESC in. And then I've plugged in my flight controller right here. It was as simple as plugging in here, plugging in here. Just be mindful if you're using the G4, the G4 does support two ESCs and you can use two 65 amp ESCs if you wanna never blow one up, hopefully. But all you would have to do is use this top plug here and plug into your second ESC, bottom plug to your bottom ESC, <laughs> and you're on your way. So there's only one thing I wanna go over, XT60's on, but you'll notice that this board is large and in charge. So that means that it doesn't just fit. If I was to have turned the board this way, it would not have fit. I would have hit my standoffs. I would have hit my air unit. It just wouldn't have worked, which is not a big deal. So I cocked it sideways, which is how I had my 45 amp. Anyways, even though this is a perfectly square board, I still sent my XT60 out the side. And that's all I'm doing here is I'm sending my XT60 out the side. The reason that I bring this up is because of my capacitor. You want your capacitor to be soldered directly to your ESC. Even if it does look a little silly or if it does hang out just a little bit, who really cares? Well, I mean, I guess... I guess I do, and that's why I went ahead and ran mine over here, because I don't want it to look stupid, but you're gonna get the most out of your capacitor if you solder it directly right here. Positive, negative, done. Which I didn't have that luxury because I'm already protruding this much. Imagine if I had that big old capacitor just hanging out right here. It would just be too much. What I did is I ran my capacitor over here, and it's gonna be held on by my top plate and I've got a little bit of double side sticky tape underneath right here 
holding it in place. So there you go. We are built, soldered, installed, and ready for action. The only thing I need to do is a test turn on. Whenever you're doing a swap of a board like this, I strongly recommend that you use a smoke stopper, but I have a power supply. Every drone pilot should have a power supply. If you don't have one, go get one, or you can build one. I've got a full video on how to make your own power supply, and they're sick, so you can go ahead and do that, and it has built-in reverse polarity protection. What that means is, is if I did accidentally bridge a solder joint, or if I did accidentally connect my capacitor back backwards or maybe my XT60 connector is backwards. I mean, it happens to the best of us. You are covered because your power supply will shut off, stopping any current from passing through. All right, so we're ready for connection. I'm going to use my little creative apparatus. I'm going to plug it in and then I'm going to connect my positive and here we go. The board is back to working. I'm so excited. Yes, on the G4, there's LEDs right on top, and they are RGB addressable. That means you can make them any color you want, but my Moxie theme is pink and blue, so I went with pink. If you guys are interested in a video on how to flash and set up your FetTech ESC, jump down in the comments and let me know. I'm going to go ahead and finish setting this up and then I'm going to take it to the sky. Make sure you stick around for the footage. I hope you are as excited as I am about the new 65 amp FetTech ESC. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.